get hit by lightning. Um, and we pull into India, and our ICOM is fried. And Carolyn, uh, I've got all kinds of other stuff, and I've got a lot of deadlines, so I told Carolyn. This is the days when you went to an internet cafe. So right. And I, I found I, the nearest internet cafe. And I told Carolyn, you know, and I do this, it's really unfair, but I have to do these projects. I just say, you know, you know, you do it. You know, I, I'm, you know, uh, you know, so I. So she, there was no, there was no, like, um, we were in the, this little town on the west, uh, the southwest side of India. And uh, so I get on and I got in contact with the Amateur Radio Society of India. And this guy in New Delhi, um, I'm kind of emailing him back and forth with him, and he says, oh, yeah, uh, we've got a lot of members around there, so let me put a notice out. So what did what it The say, notice said, said um, you know, Captain Fatty Goodlander um, and Carolyn, they're, the Americans are in trouble. They've had a catastrophe, but hit by lightning, and we must fix their like, radio. We must fix and it's just. It says the honor of India is at stake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the honor of India. I thought that was so cool. And he so, sent it out to the thing. Yeah. This is a guy by the name of Sandeep. Yeah, who is still. Um, and if you friend. if you Google uh, Captain Fatty India Amateur Radio or any of this stuff, he has like a cyber shrine to us. He's just such a wonderful guy. He's a <laughs> dear friend now, but we didn't so, know him. So he, um, so somebody that was working, an Indian guy working in Kuwait, that was a member of their club. What was his name? Belson. Belson, yeah. Okay. He um, he emailed back to Sandeep that he knew somebody that was right near the boat, Ma Mani, Dr. Mani, who was the uh, homebrew king. And homebrew is now, when you make your own radio. Now, I didn't know oh, any of this. Okay, okay. I'm yeah. sitting there on the boat, Carolyn's off on the thing, and all of a sudden, there's, I'm stirring to, and there's like two billion Indians, you know, right there. I mean, there's like <laughs> elephants and jugglers and snakes and snake, snake charmers, and, you know, all going on. And all of a sudden, a little brown man in a little brown dress goes, oh, well, I can't possibly, I can't do it this evening. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm just worked up. I mean, you can't expect me to do it this evening. And I was like, what? Who are you? You know, he's like, you need your radio fix, don't you? You know, he said, do you, can I bring it to you tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, you can bring it to me tomorrow. And I said, but I don't know what's wrong with it. It was hit by lightning and, you know, the smoke came out of it and stuff. And uh, he said, oh, don't worry. You know, he's like, you know, stuff tomorrow. Oh, why didn't you say so? There's no... And he just puts it on his head. He's kind of like disconnecting the radio, puts it on his head and says, okay. And just disappears into the crowd. You know, I can see the icon. <laughs> and Carolyn's coming back. She sees the radio going through the crowd. So she comes back to me and says, did you find an icon dealer? I'm like, well, no, you know, not, not an icon dealer. He said, well, what, you know, who's the technician? What's his company? I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. What's his name? Well, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's just gave a radio. Gave a radio. I had a brown dress. He was a brown guy in a brown dress. <laughs> but actually, I know it was Dr. Money. And um, the honor of India so, was at stake. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so he brings it back the next day. The, the case is out. You know, it's got parts of a toaster sticking out. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, this radio. I mean, he tunes it up radio. on the boat. I mean, you could just say hello, and I mean, just blow everyone's speakers out. It was. <laughs> we've never had a better radio after oh, that guy oh, got oh, done with it. Okay. Uh, and so we asked him how much, and I told him, I said, you know, I was going to pay $500 to have it FedExed back and forth to America, you know, so how much do I owe you? And he said, well, you, you, he says, not only do you have to pay, your wife has to pay too. He said, you have to attend a, a feast, uh, a Corella feast. A feast. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we just got in with all these Indian people. India is the only place that I cried when I left. And, and I, I cried tears of... Of, happy to be gone. I was happy to be gone. <laughs> and sad to leave. Sad to leave. And kind of mixed yeah, emotions. Yeah, such yeah, huge mixed emotions. Did you guys go to the Andaman yeah. Islands? Uh, no, yeah. we did not. No. That's it. We, we yeah. went there last year. And it's oh, a very great. Such, it's the same thing. It's, uh -huh. it's beautifully Indian, but also yeah. very so bureaucratically. Yeah. You know, we, Challenging. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we almost got arrested for going to a friend's house just because you're not supposed to be in this area as a yeah. foreigner without permission Prior from the permission. police. And we have... Wow. We'd never come across that before, and yeah. you know, all of a sudden a guy calls a guy, and then our taxi turns around and takes him to the police station. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's cool. My favorite vision, you know, I mean, like sometimes I have like a snapshot vision, and in India is a guy, a government guy. I'm saying something, and he's taking it down in a big book, and it's like a huge book. No, no, bigger. It was as big as this table. It was like it's like table. Bob Kravitz in the the Christmas Carol. You know, open and it's just really he's just got like a quill, and he's writing down his thing. And uh, then on the table next to him is like a stack of a hundred of these books. Yep. And then there's dozens of these tables until you start seeing the tables. I mean, into infinity. But some of them, you know, now they have a broken leg, so the table's like this, and then pretty soon you know, the, those books are spilling off, and then pretty soon it's just paper mache. You know, what just, do you do it? Yeah, I mean, it's and just they, all and they, said, and they said we have, to, we of have years. to take your ship's papers and, and we'll, we'll take good care of it. You look around, like, yeah, oh, here's the, right. you know, here's yeah, have the copies. <laughs> Yeah. We, we had to report our position twice a day. Really? 
morning and yeah. Yeah. every 12 hours. Yeah. Oh, that's like what Israel. are you doing? Like, Israel yeah. drinking yeah. beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This beach. How long you been We're to taking stay? a pee now. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You must know. We had we had fun with it though. Ah, we we treated them with the most to respect. Hey, how are you today? And they're like. Because they're used to talking to other ships around yeah. and they're not that are used not to friendly. talking to girls. So if we put one of the oh, girls yeah. on the radio, yeah. they would be like, they Hello, could man. hear their voice. Hello, they would yeah. just get all nervous. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, well, that's what I'm the captain. I go clear in everywhere because they're yeah. much nicer to me than yeah. they are to him. And, and we were at some point, you know, we were, this is clearing into Venezuela one year, and the guy wanted five thousand extra. You know, I was like, I'm not going to give you five thousand extra. And he was like, Yeah, well, you know. And so we're going on and back and forth. And Carolyn had went to the bank to get change. And uh, I was like, screw you, you know, pal. And um, so they're like leading me down this hallway to the dungeon, you know, where they, Lord knows what, you can hear the people, you know, as the closer I get, the more screams I can hear. Yeah. <laughs> and Carolyn, I can hear Carolyn say, where's my husband? Where's my husband? It's 50 she, cents. She yelled, I'm like, it's 48 cents, buddy. I was like, 48 cents? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, yeah. We can do this. <laughs> we can do this. Don't hit me yet. That was funny. Yeah, they ask me for bribes. I say no. She's <laughs> really good. Like you, yeah. She, turns, no, she you. turns down the bribes just as smooth as can be, boy. Yeah, yeah. Panama, we were leaving Panama, and the guy, he wanted us to get to buy visas to, when we were leaving. I said, you don't buy visas when you're leaving. You buy visas when yeah, you're, you're coming. He you says, says, really need to work on your app. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, the yeah. wrong visa. Come up with something yeah. else. So, 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 and so they said, no, no, it's $100 each, U.S. And I said, no. And so I just took all my paperwork, boom, 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 and I just left. I said, no. He said, no. no. Weird. <laughs> and I have... Um, and so we didn't really clear out there, but... I don't know if I should say this in the thing, but I have numerous uh, registrations for my boat. And um, we were in one situation where there was a heavy bribe thing, and they had our ship's papers. And the guy who was demanding this bribe, this was in Ecuador, um, uh, you know, said, you know, you have to give me this money. I said, bullshit. I mean, that's bullshit. I'm not giving you that money. And uh, so he took the, you know, he took the papers the registration. And, and put it in this locked cabinet and locked it and said, you know, well, you're not getting that registration. So I said to him, I said, you know, that's our ship's papers. I said, those are the American ship's papers. I said, you know, do you know how? I said, do you know how long it would take me to replace those? You know, and he grinned. You know, and he said, you know, like, God, right. and Carolyn's going like. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So I says, you know, he says, well, you go back to your boat, and you think about it, and you want to bring me back some money, you can have that back. Okay, <laughs> sail away. We, we collect uh, clearances as well. Mm -hmm. so you never know when a clearance gets Yeah, yeah right. clearances and we, are always And good. we have duplicate this was six months ago. Oh, yeah. We were at sea a long yeah. time. <laughs> well, Carolyn is a... Um, Passports are the hard thing. You're, again, she's yeah. kind of a computer nerd, and she's got we've got printers. And... Um, and uh, when we were in Salala, um, in, <laughs> in Salala, Oman, right, they're very corrupt, in the, but they're very clever. They've been doing this for thousands of years. And they didn't ask us for anything as we cleared in. And I made the horrible mistake of, it was really a bad mistake of mine. I told them that we, you know, we had to go out at the same time because we were in this convoy. Yeah, right? we were 27 so I made, convoy, and we all wanted to leave together. So. And uh, so I said, you know, I set this thing up days in advance so that we could all leave at the same time not thinking that I was really giving them a gun to hold in my head. Um, and they started inventing stuff that yeah, we then needed. They, then they said we needed insurance to leave. A we certain type insurance of insurance. To leave. <laughs> <laughs> Even if something happens, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. And uh, so they started inventing permits and stuff. And so Carolyn was, uh, you know, I was on like a walkie-talkie, and Carolyn's sitting here with her three computers, you know, and the printers, and I'm saying, you know, they need such and such, you know. Insurance. She's yeah. on the internet, you know, finding one of these forms, you know, and yeah, saying, yeah. I got it, I got it, yeah, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, you know. <laughs> 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 and the people are freaking out because no matter what they ask for, like, how did you... You know, how did you get that? You know? and, you know, and, yeah, and that's what everybody was doing. It. And that, the only people who got in trouble were some people who actually had the insurance that they wanted. Right. And they and said, they, well, Fatty, I'm not going to take your fraudulent document. Yes, I you know, I have the legitimate document. I said, well, you know, you don't have it with you. I said, please use my fraudulent one. They yeah, said, they no. didn't have it. They had, we they had, had to sell off years, but they now. hadn't gotten their new one. It, yeah, but they were. But so they really it was so terrible. Covered. My all my fraudulent people got they through, and days. all those legitimate people were. They were they were two days behind us. Yeah, there. and um, which is pretty dangerous in those waters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. official yeah. fake paper in Indonesia because yeah. of the the diving permit and all the stuff that we had to pay for for the permits. We made a list of the stuff that was proper permits, oh. and then put the letterhead on it, and, and the stamp and signature yeah. and everything. Oh, so yeah. people came up asking for a specific type of paper. It was like, oh no, this is the 
the only stuff you're supposed to ask for. Did you see this memo? Yeah. And we're like, oh, they pass it around. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> we didn't see this all coming. <laughs> <laughs> but we had all the, it was just, yeah, it was all being bribes. difficult, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 You can read more on Cap and Fatty at fattygoodlander.com or do an author search on Goodlander, and that's F-A-double-T-T-Y, not fat with a P-H.